Hey guys, my name's Andrew. I'm a poker player here, living here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Been playing as a pro since uh, the start of 2017, and I thought it was time I made a vlog, started uh, recording uh, some of my hands, uh, and just life in general. And I thought it was a good idea because there's absolutely no other poker blogger, bloggers out there in Vegas, so it's I'm gonna have like you know uh, just like a monopoly on the on the vlog market for sure. And so. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, we're gonna give it a run, and we'll see how you do. So here we go. Um, Sunday afternoon, uh, I finished playing a, a Donkament at Excalibur. It's forty-five dollar blind sub level. Level. It wasn't really uh, a tournament I was um, loving to play. It was just I had extra time, and uh, but I knew I was playing it, and so I played with him. And busted out, uh, like middle ish, I guess. Top four paid, and out of 40, 30 something players, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, Sunday afternoon, going over to play some cash at the Aria now, about four, um, almost five o'clock. Uh, probably play some cash at the Aria, and might jump in the, uh, the 7 p.m. tournament there, the 125. Depending on how many runners they get, uh, it could be a, could be uh, decent. Usually, there's a it's a for dailies. It's one of the best tournaments around. Um, usually, like a couple couple grand up top. And so uh, we'll uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes. Head over to Arya, play some one three, and uh, go from there. We're sitting at with 15 bigs at 400-800, and a uh, villain who is a uh, short stack at the table jams all in from under the gun for 10 big blinds. And we're holding jacks, folds around to us, and jacks are just pretty too strong to fold here, I think, and it's, uh, especially when it folds to us, I think it's just a pretty easy call. So make the call, and uh, villain uh, tables uh, pocket tens, so we are uh, well ahead of hit him, and the flop runs out well f for us. Turn is good, river is good, and so we scoop a decent sized pot there, and we eliminate one person in the tournament, and we keep on in the tournament. Six hundred, twelve hundred. Have a, not 
out of my chicken uh, we have 1TK, uh, going into 600, 600 so really short stack, but average stack is 27K, so it's not that terrible. There's some larger stacks. Uh, we're down to 23 players, so almost down to final two tables. Top seven players. So, pretty decent. Uh, Jack's holding his tens for a decent sized spot. Just gonna continue the grind and hope to swing it up and get to the final table. And that's about it. Okay, so good news is, so in the tournament. Probably like. Seventh in chips out of 12 people left. Final two tables for 16 out of each. The bad news is, lines are pretty high. We have uh, out of like 45k going into 1500, 3000. So just like 15 bigs so, and 16 did. So it's, uh, it's interesting. It's, it's a grind for sure. I've been doing pretty well, uh, picking my spots, uh, push full charts, got them all locked down, so it's, it's gone pretty well. I've been able to find some good spots and then had a, uh, won a big flip with Ace King suited versus Tens, spiked the Ace on the flop, and held there, so that was good. That was pretty huge. And got me to where I am right now, so still grinding it out. 12, 12 left. I think the final table will probably be 10 handed. And then uh, seven paid, and then we'll see um, see what chip stacks are, and see if we want to do a deal or something. Uh, just under 2k up top, so um, I'm so I don't have the payouts. Uh, otherwise, I would. But I'm trying not to think about the money right now, just just broker, uh, especially when it's not. I'm like, you know, oh I'm my god, going. so that's it. Still in third break. Hope I get to fourth break. You know, and we're like heads up or something. All right. All right. So bad news is, did not get the heads up. Good news is, did get a fifth place finish for four hundred fifty-eight dollars. So profit of three, 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 three hundred thirty. It's not the best hourly after, uh, like, what is it, seven hour grind, so, but it is what it is, it was, uh, once it was five handed, it was pretty much me and one another guy were about even with, uh, like, with, like, uh, about, uh, 13, 13 big blinds. Right, right around there, and then the other guys just had beats, and like even our double up wouldn't put us really close. Like one guy had 200k, uh, yeah. So uh, no one wanted to discuss a deal or a chop or anything, chip chop or anything like that. Uh, and then uh, I chipped up a decent amount, and then and so the, then the other guy was the short stack the table, and he doubled up. Jack 10 versus King 9. Spiked the Jack and held. So that made me the pretty short stack. And then Lempton Pot had a flush, flush draw versus top pair. Didn't get there. It was only like a $130 pay jump uh, between fourth and fifth. And it was, this, this is one of the spots where I, it was close. I could have folded, but I was just. Uh, I chose to take it. And um, yeah, I had top pair. And, uh, and he held, so out there, not bad though, I mean 62 players and take the whatever, it's good though, uh, I mean I'm not going to complain about winning the buy-in, you know, 300 bucks, not a bad day, uh, so it was a long grind, it's like 2am now, uh, there was, there was like decent money up top, like there's uh, 1.3 to second, and then uh, K, and then 2.2 uh, K to first, so, uh, it would've been nice to, to do something like that, but just didn't, uh, didn't get the cards. I think I played overall pretty well. I mean, you can make a case on the podium on the last hand, sure, but I think I, I had the equity that I needed to do in that hand. 
can review it. Uh, later. But, um, so yeah, it was fun. Uh, good tournament, good structure. And uh, so it's 2 a.m. I'm probably going to get my teeth and go home. Okay, so on this hand, at 1-2 at Caesars, I pick up pocket 10s in the small blind, and the hijack makes it $10. I decided a flat here from the small blind. You could also make a case for 3-betting easily as 10s uh, are going to be ahead of a lot of the hijack's opening range, but I think for balance, just, uh, I can call some ten, sometimes with 10s and then 3-bet sometimes with 10s. So I, I, so I decided a flat, and then the big blind comes along as well. So we're three ways to a flop. Flop is 5-7-deuce uh, with two clubs, and I, was, and I hold the 10 of clubs. So you could make a case for a betting and over pair here, and I think sometimes I should, but not all the time. And so I decided to check instead. The big blind checked, and the um, hijack makes a c-bet of $17. And I don't ex expect, really expect this board to connect with uh, his opening range all that much, and I'm definitely not just going to fold an over pair just to just one bet. I don't see much value in raising, especially being out of position. So I decided to flat 17 and the big line folds. So we're heads up to the turn. Turn is an offsuit queen, which isn't the best card, but also not the worst card unless he obviously holds a queen. And and I think he he's likely gonna be betting that if he does. So uh, I don't see much value, value in betting here. So I, I check again. And he checks behind, so now I'm really not putting him on a very strong made hand. Maybe just made a C bet with like Ace King, Ace Jack, another pocket pair that he thinks is good. And so I'm pretty sure that I have the best hand here. And then the river is a pretty good card. It's an offsuit nine, so the all the draws miss. And I decided to make a value bet of twenty-five dollars here. And I think I should have gone a little bit, a little bit bigger to like thirty-five or so. But I think it's a relatively minor mistake. Uh, I don't. I'm, and when he checks behind on the turn, I'm not sure how often he makes a value bet. I think he just wants to get down, get to showdown, uh, uh, pretty chip, cheap, cheaply. So let me know what you think about this uh, this lead out on the river. Uh, I, like I said, I think the size is a little bit too small, but I think it's a relatively minor mistake. So a villain thought for a little while and called. I show and I'm good. So he'll take down a decent sized pot there. So, it is uh, 6.45 p.m. on Tuesday, so we're uh, going to the liquor store, first of all, to pick up uh, some Angry Orchard, and then going to play a, uh, a home game with uh, some buddies from uh, 2 Plus 2 in uh, like this poker group thing that we have going on. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun, especially since I only know like three games, like No Limit, Limit, and some PLO. Oh, and Open Face Chinese. Uh, other than that though, like my poker knowledge is fairly limited. Uh, so, uh, really looking forward to uh, learning a lot of new games. I think it's like 10 cent, 25 cent, something. It's it's pretty micro stakes. It's just. It's mostly just for fun. We'll make up some games, I'm sure. Uh, and so this will be a pretty cool experience and just like a nice night, uh, especially since Tuesday, according to Troopers, it's the wor Tuesday's worst day for poker in Vegas. Um, yeah, it's, it's about true, yeah. Monday's not always that great either, but other Monday can be good. But yeah, tu Tuesday is usually never that amazing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to it and gonna go Grab some alcohol and go play in a home game. Sweet. Oh, oh man. Here you go, brother. Good luck. I'm gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a trip. We sweat. We yeah. sweat. Oh. Uh. I'm the floor. Oh! oh. 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 oh.
Ow! Oh, this game's yeah. fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we need to That's your deck. What a combat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, poker. <laughs> That'll be on the vlog. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, okay, I'm drawing. You gotta be a five. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> you should have been out too. I know. I guess for All potential. Right. Roll, the <laughs> roll the die, roll the die. Where is the die? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I don't know. How many rivers do I want? How many rivers do I want? I am trying to have the nuts here. And I got there. Ace high flush? Uh, you're going to be the straight flush. Whoa! <laughs> 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 I mean, I also had clubs, so that's... <laughs> I have an ace. Oh, oh nice. wow. Juice is full. You got a boat. Yeah. That is good. That is way good. <laughs> I had the. I had the I, yeah, I, I had. Blood bottom. Blood bottom. I had clubs on this one. And then I had the straight on this one. I had a, I, I, yeah, I had the flush and the straight. Oh, and we had to nice. choose the one. How do I fuck or not? Someone might just scoop it and then we don't have to split it at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got. I have two pairs. I've straight. got nuts. I've got the nuts straight. straight. He's, He's got, got, the got the nine. nine. Hot I've got the nut low already. Wow. Uh, well, yeah, that's not. Uh, not low. Oh, I have a vote. I have a vote. <laughs> yeah, that's bad news for me. He's got. Oh, no, I have to leave that. I, I don't know what to do. I bought the straight. Uh, two pairs. I bought the nut. Yeah. Five, five full of sixes. Don't take. I'm gonna take half, Ace Juice is gonna take the other half. So, four. So, leaving the home game now, about, after about like eh, four hours of play, been there five hours or so. It was a lot of fun. Bought in for 20 bucks, a lot of the blind. Uh, we played a one no limit game. Everything else was like fi pot limit or fixed limit uh, with like 10, 10 cent, 25 cent mostly. Uh, we played so many games, a lot of make, made up games and then. Uh, a bunch of mixed games, Badoogie, Badesi, Deuce of Seven, Triple Daw, Raz, uh, all of which I didn't really know how to play, so that was cool to learn those games and then play them, and then we played F Your Neighbor, and uh, then like we had ro rolled a dice to see how many rivers we got, depending on what the number of dice rolled was, and it was just a lot of cra cra crazy game, it was a lot of fun. So, Tuesday afternoon, about uh, 5.30 and gonna go out and probably play some poker. Checked out uh, 
Bravo. Um, looks like uh, Arya has the uh, the most games running. Uh, they're running. They got six, one, three games with four on the list. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, called ahead, got myself a seat, and we'll be going over there. So in this hand, pick up Ace Queen suited on the button, and there are four limpers ahead of me, and not looking to play Ace Queen five ways so flat. Pretty strong hand, so I make it twenty dollars to go, and it folds around to the last man who limped in the cutoff, who makes the call. So heads up to a flop, and we see a flop of King of Spades, Six of Spades, Eight of Clubs. And villain checks us, and I think we can make a case for checking back. A lot of times, uh, I think we can also make a case for betting. Not holding any spades in my hand and just holding ace high, I thought it uh, made a decent hand to go ahead and uh, throw out a C bet with as uh, a bluff. So, but thirty dollars didn't have to bet that big. I think uh, if villain doesn't have spades or any king, I think he shuts down a lot of times. And there, I guess there's some weird straight draws with uh, the six and the eight, uh, too. But there's also uh, on a lot of uh, brick turn and rivers. There's uh, would be should be uh, good barreling cards for me as well. So villain calls uh, the thirty dollars pretty quickly, and we go to the turn. See the turn with uh, four of clubs, so brings in a few straight uh, possibilities. But villain checks once again. And I think, not, like I said, not holding any spade blockers in my hand makes it more likely that villain is likely on the spade draw. So I go ahead and make a bet of $50. You can size this bigger, I think, uh, in re going in review. Still gives him a decent price con to continue with his draws. But again, most, uh, m most one two players don't see uh, pot odds, they see more. They see bets and they see fifty dollars and that looks like a lot of money. So against certain villains, I think it's okay to go. You can go uh, smaller with some of your bet sizes, and that's what I did. And villain thought about for a while, counted out fifty, and then put it back in a stack, and then he folded. So likely on a draw, and we take down a decent sized pot there. Just a few hands later, we pick up Ace Queen once again. We're in middle position. The villain who was involved in the last hand limps in. We make it 15, and the person directed to our left calls, folds around to the villain who limped, and he calls as well. So three ways to the flop. The flop is pretty favorable. It's uh, Jack Eight Queen with. So we flop top top rainbow board, and the the villain does not check. He snap bets $50 into me and the other person in the hand. And so now we have a quite the decision on our hands. Top top is going to be at the quite at the top of my range, more towards the top of my range, uh, if anything. And but when villains when le especially like level one thinking players who just aren't thinking a lot of times uh, put out bets like this, they're just usually not that uh, tr tricky enough to do this with like weird drawing hands or second pair or bottom pair as a bluff. They usually just are doing this with like two pair better, like Jack. I think you usually have eights or jacks here, and so I thought about it for a few for a little while but eventually ended up folding I know it's a pretty tight fold but uh, and you can let me know what you think of this hand but in my experience playing against certain types of players there's there's not really thinking and it probably saved me uh, a c bet because I was definitely gonna be uh, c betting uh, flopping top top here 
but um, yeah, he, uh, when he, I just don't think he has a lot of less when he bets fifty dollars into a forty-five dollar pot, and wasn't that great of uh, of a spot to be in. So uh, I folded, and uh, let me know what do you think about that uh, nitty fold there.